Thanks, I'm not hungry. Yes, you are. You're starving. I know, I've been there. It's when you start eating for somebody else so that they can grow and be healthy, your relationship to food changes. What I realized is that if I'm so willing to eat right to take care of this baby, why am I not willing to do it for myself? You are so lucky. You've always been at home in your body. Don't let Miss Sylvester take that away from you. You are beautiful. You know that. Just stay here with you until your mom comes, okay? What's that? Are you gonna go tell Figgins about Shelby? Because I just, I still think that it's a really terrible idea. I came here to talk to you, actually. To tell you I'm not gonna tell. Why? Because I love Beth, and I don't want to ruin her life. I wanted to thank you, actually. For what? For keeping me from doing something stupid. Something I would have regretted my entire life. We're kind of friends, huh? Kind of. Magic sex dance. All right, ladies. Girl talk. No, mm -mm. Don't you dare try and give us a pep talk. Or ask us to come back to New Directions. Not interesting. Wait, is it even possible? Do you think they would really take us back? Of course they would take us back. But I'm telling you, I'm not going. Do you know what growing up is about? Losing things. In six months, we'll all be gone, scattered. We'll keep in touch. Yeah, but it won't be the same. When we see each other, it'll be a special occasion. It'll be different. I don't want to grow up yet. I'm not ready to lose you girls. Well, what are we supposed to do? Come back to Glee Club and sing background for Blaine and Barry until we graduate? No, I'm not doing that again. We know what it feels like to be out front now. What if Mr. Shu agreed to let the Trouble Tones sing at least one number per competition? Well, even if Mr. Shu did agree to that, Rachel never would. What if I told you that they both already did? I'm listening. Look, I know I went a little crazy. <laughs> but I'm here now. I'm 17, I have the rest of my life in front of me. I love Glee Club. I love you girls. And when we're 27 or 87, I want us to be able to look back on these next couple months and talk about how it was the best times of our lives. How are they helping you out? Kerr was bringing me some clothes and Quinn was helping me babysit my little brother and sister. Then why were you in that motel? Because that's where I live now. My dad lost his job a few months ago, then we lost our house, so now we live in that motel in one room. Are you all happy? The truth's finally out. The queen of Kurt isn't king. Well, good, because my account for queen was the same as yours. I won by one vote. I won. It's everything I've ever wanted, and I don't feel any different. Cool. I mean, I guess you deserve to win, right? What with being a crip and all. <laughs> you know, we really have had the dream high school careers. Mega popular doing whatever we wanted, whoever we wanted. You know, I'm really not surprised that you and I were the top two candidates. Yeah. Well, you know, it would be boring if we weren't so awesome. <laughs> but don't you want to leave this place having made a difference? Stash wants to borrow your Russian hat. Oh my God! What are you doing here? Lady Hummel called, begging us to do an emergency intervention. <gasps> On who? You. So let me get this straight. You guys came all the way to New York just to talk to me because Kurt called you? We're also here to shop. And we're here to apologize to Quinn for slapping her across the face very, very hard. In theory. We'll just see if that happens. Rachel, you cannot do a nude scene. It's not a nude scene. It's just a topless scene. Same thing. Topless is as nude as anyone is ever going to want to see you. Let's say you do it. Think about the 2-2-2 two, two, two rule. In two weeks, how are you going to feel about the nude scene? You'll probably feel pretty great. Yeah. You'll get to feel a nice, cool breeze on the mosquito bites. You'll feel refreshed, even. Then, how are you going to feel about it two months from now? I don't know. 
Nervous? Worried it may not even be good? Rachel, it's a student film. It's not gonna be good. And two years from now, how are you gonna feel about it then? Guilty? Just hoping my kids will never see it online. Well, they'll see it. Mm -hmm. And they will never be the same. Look, we care about you. And for once, Rachel, we actually have your best interests in mind. Please don't do it.